All right, here we are, a Wildwood x Light Platinum. You know it's good because it's platinum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the outside, uh, I, I, without sounding awful, looks mm -hmm. pretty basic. You get, yeah. you get what you get. Uh, right. uh, good size awning. You got your speakers outside. Yep. Place to, uh, uh, is this, what is this? Hookups for TV. For, okay, that's what I yep. thought. Yep. Yep. And your platinum actually means that this is fiberglass. Uh, a normal, if you get it without the platinum, it'd just be a normal aluminum corrugated outside. Okay, cool. So uh, a little bit of storage up front here, I'm assuming. Yep, and that'll be passed through, go all the way. And it is not unlocked? Nope, other side is, I think, but okay. not so, that yeah. side. So just trust us, <laughs> it's passed through. Uh, yeah, so I say we get inside, we get inside and, and check this thing out. Uh, question, Daryl says, is that, with the fiberglass, is that pretty durable? Like, can you? So Daryl wants to know about the fiberglass versus aluminum which I've talked about yep. a little bit. You probably know even more than I do. Yeah, so it's really more of a preference side of things. Um, fiberglass, it is more durable, can hold up. Aluminum is gonna be more of panels. So if you need to replace one panel, uh -huh. you just pull the one panel, good to go. Yeah. But fire, fiberglass is more durable, yes. Right. And I, I know that sometimes the way it's made, it's, it's kind of sealed. Yes. Like, so yep. there's less water getting inside. Exactly, yep. um, so yeah, so there does it does make sense that it's it's a little more expensive. Yep. But uh, again, Absolutely. it's a, it's a I know some folks like the look of the aluminum because it's kind of siding looking and they uh, want yes. that. Yeah. Right. Uh, all right. So here we are inside inside the uh, the uh, the beast itself. Uh, <laughs> Got a nice, you, and we already got somebody at, it's funny, all right, it's, it might be the same Daryl is asking if this, Daryl's really into this, we might have a sale already. Uh, <laughs> can this be swapped out call for a love seat? It cannot, not in this one, okay. uh, because they have the couch right here. Okay. So this is set how it is. Okay. But this will turn into a bed as Okay, well. nice. So you go, uh, a little spot there for yep. your uh, televu television viewing pleasure, because your television would go right here on the wall. And then, yep. of course, your, your dinette area. Mm -hmm. uh, good size counter, counter space? Yes, good size counter space. This has two separate sinks. It's not just one big hole. Personally, I like having the two separate sinks. That yeah. way I have, especially when you're doing dishes or something, uh -huh. you have water here, clean dishes there. Yep. Just set them up there. Yep. Um, you have a good amount of cabinet space, especially for as small as this unit is. Mm -hmm. uh, you it's have storage up underneath the couch right there as well. Uh -huh. Also underneath the U-shaped dinette over here. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And of course, this is on a slide. It's giving you, giving yep. you more space. Exactly. Uh, fireplace. Yep. Fireplace. Something new to 2023 that while would have switched to. This is more of like a mirror type deal on the other ones. Um, when you go 22 back, it's more of just a kind of like a black overall. Mm -hmm. They went with more of a mirror look on this. Kind of like that. It's yep. a cool look. Yeah. Uh, small little oven. Yep. But uh, big enough to make your pizza rolls, your fish sticks, your cookies, a your pizza. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> uh, microwave and the stove top or the uh, three burner stove top. Yep. And of course, the big all electric refrigerator, which is pretty much standard now on everything. Yeah. It's Furion. Furion makes good products. We've yep. had a chance to visit their place up in Indiana, and mm -hmm. it's. Uh, it's awesome. It's oh, good stuff. Tim wants to know, can, the pop, can you pop popcorn in there without it burning? Is the microwave strong enough? Tim wants to know that. And when he says Tim, I think it's Tim, <laughs> yep. the cameraman Tim. Tim, the cameraman. Huh? I would say yes. Does it have I, a yeah, popcorn? I would say. It's even got a... Now, because oh, it's it doesn't a, have a popcorn button. They yeah. say never use the popcorn button anyways. They say never use that. It's to got a popcorn, popcorn button. It's it right is up there? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. So why would they put that on there, Tim, if you can't make popcorn? There that you was go. A dumb they question. can make popcorn. Tim, answer your own questions by <laughs> by investigating. You just got to read a little. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll go, uh, we've got a big bathroom here on our way to the... Yep. I'll get in here before they ask. Uh, there you Big go. bathroom on the way to the master bedroom. Yep. Again, if you're just tuning in, I am six foot tall. Uh, I got plenty of room in here. We've got the, the skylight, so I can... Uh, if you need a little more space, mm -hmm. you got it. Uh counter space lots of counter space yep and you have a little storage right down in here as well okay. I'll move out of the way yeah, so that you can see that get that and then of course you have a little cabinet off to the side here as mm -hmm. well right behind the toilet so yeah and a mirror the mirror uh and then you get this is kind of cool I saw this a little earlier the the bed with the corners shaved off 
yes. to give you a little room. Right. They wanted to still give you pretty much the full size of a bed, uh -huh. but I mean, obviously sometimes when you're in a camper, yeah. the corners can get in the way, so they shaved or rounded off the bed I just to give smart. you a little more walking space. I think it's smart. I don't know how often I use this much of the bed, but <laughs> to take away this much that I probably don't use anyway is to give you more walk around space. That's where the dogs brilliant. sleep, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, closet back here. I don't know yep. if you saw the closet, Tim. Closet right here. The closet. Turn. There we go. We need we to get it. Tim, Tim does the important stuff. He doesn't just run a camera around here. Let's spin it back around, Tim. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. And then, of course, you have the... So you have access to your closets here, but then they started cutting out the little cubbies. So if you have a CPAP or whatever it uh -huh. is, you have access to it right here. Other people, I mean, I personally like to lay my arm out. If I'm sleeping on my side, you could extend up into there a That's little good. bit as That's well. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm the same way. Sweet. All right, storage underneath? Yes, there is storage up underneath we here go. as well. Oh yeah, you got the nice little And you actually have and... access to this back here. This is part of the pass-through store. Okay. So you can have access from the outside or inside. Great. Perfect. Awesome. So uh, I'd say it's this is like your uh, your mid, maybe mid-range, maybe a little smaller than mid-range. Maybe a little smaller <laughs> than a mid-range as far as size. Uh, yeah, you're probably sitting in the mid twenties, okay. upper twenties as far as length goes. And okay. That's that's gonna be including the tongue. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I like it. It's uh big enough for more than just two. I mean, a lot of times you see these smaller smaller RVs that mm -hmm. have like the master bedroom or the where w the master bedroom would be. Right. And then you have like room for like seventeen other people. People. And you're like, yep. this thing is this big. Why would you have <laughs> yeah. the? But this breaks down into a bed. Um, that'll turn into that'll a turn bed. into a bed. So it, it would make sense with this being a little bigger to bring more than just a couple right. out here. Yeah. Yep. It's great. All right. So as I always say, if you want to know more about this or you want to get into this RV, you got to call us. Just talk to us. Don't be afraid to call. Nobody's going to press you. If you're not ready to buy an RV today, you're not going to be forced into buying an RV. But you can get one step closer if that's the way you're headed. So yep. let us you know what questions you have. All right. Thanks, sir. No problem. Thank you.